3,000 miles from the plains through the mountains to the burning wildlands on the west coast. Four Minot firefighters returned in Engine 1 after 17 days away helping another community through their toughest days. A welcomed homecoming. First by their colleagues in blue, then honking strangers, and finally the wide arms of loved ones. Feels great to be back, yeah. Casey Meadows, John Hansen, Will Dakoto, and Jason West set foot on home turf on Thursday night. And if you followed their journey when they set out west to battle wildfires in Oregon, you know they weren't sure what exactly to expect. Uh, keep an eye on. But they come home with brand new experiences. The thing goes a little bit slower with that uh, versus like a house fire where it's like everything kind of comes at once versus this is a long drawn out process. And this is this is wildland. It's sleeping in tents. It's uh, eating camp food and uh, you know just doing a lot of walking around with packs on and, and no mechs. So some relief. Uh, it feels good. It feels great to be back, yeah. And a great deal of gratitude from the community. You guys went out there and did an outstanding job. The community couldn't be more proud of everything that you guys did and represented. It's a small token to say thank you. I've got the mayor's coin here, but I gotta say thank you to each and every one of you for the hard work, the outstanding service, and the de dedication that you guys have for our community and for everyone else. 420 hours protecting structures from a rash of blazes. Roughing it in tents can really clear a person's mind of what's truly important. Oh, good. What did you miss the most? Uh, I miss this little girl the most. Uh, my own bed, uh, hanging out with my wife and my daughter. But it's gonna be nice to be back in my own bed. A home, proud to have all of them back that he was back and I was really excited to see him so I um, started to cry. <laughs> Just in case, we too are dealt our toughest days.